So you go to sleep at night, you have this amazing dream, this wonderful life you want to live, and you wake up, and nah, my life is shit. Hey guys, this video is going to give you one of the biggest secrets to success. And it is so stupid that it's, it's, it's painfully obvious. I've been to different seminars. I've done a ton of research. I do self-development every single day. I check new things out. I talk with a lot of people. I've had multiple mentors. And it's all, all of it. All the, the ideas and the theories and the ideologies and how you live your life and what you eat and where you go and who you talk to and all this stuff and, and how you build your business or whatever you want to do, it all boils down to one thing. There is only one difference. This is two, so we'll go like this. <laughs> There's only one difference between someone who is successful and someone who is unsuccessful. And it doesn't matter if it's with fitness or with eating right, or with a relationship, or with whatever it is. Now before I tell you what the answer is, you have to remember that success can possibly come after a ton of failures, all right? I'm not saying your first relationship is gonna be a success. I'm not saying your first business is gonna be a success. If you look at most entrepreneurs, you're looking at, I don't even know what the average is, but it's like five, 10, maybe more failed businesses before they actually succeed. And what I try to teach on this channel is an entrepreneurial mindset so that you're not simply trying to become an entrepreneur for business. You're trying to take a, a look around the world and say, hey, you know what? I'd like this different because all an entrepreneur is is somebody who looks around the world and wants to live in a different world. That's, that's all an entrepreneur is. If you think about it and it's your life and you're looking around and you're like, you know what? I wish this was like this. I wish that was like that. I don't like th take business. I don't like the way that the employees are treated here. I don't like the uh, the pay scale. I don't like the product. Whatever. So then you go and create your own. That's an entrepreneur. So an entrepreneurial mindset is somebody who has that entrepreneurship attitude towards their own life. Now, here's the difference. Unsuccessful people dream. Successful people dream. And then they do. That's it. That, that's the big secret. Because when you dream about something and you take action, all right? So I guess you could say unsuccessful people dream, successful people dream and take action. When you take action, people will take notice. So you don't have a mentor? Good. Start doing whatever it is you want to do. You don't have a website? Good. Good. Make one, right? All these times that you tell yourself that you can't do something, like I don't have the money to do this, okay, good. Go find the money to do this. It, 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 guys, it's fucking that simple. <laughs> like, it's, it's not simple because there, there's a can of worms that opens up when you try to pursue what you want. But at the same time, when you pursue what you want, your energy levels are through the roof because you feel like you're on your life's purpose. You're doing what your life is, is telling you to try and go and pursue. And there may be things that you're just a natural at and you would never have known this. You would never have known if, if you hadn't gone and tried to pursue this. Um, no matter what it is, it, it's really that simple. You don't know how to do something, go figure it out. <laughs> like, so <clears throat> the guy that I'm gonna show you, he's a friend of mine. And him and I, every so often, he's one of the guys who I have like think tanks with and stuff, which is basically where you get great minds together and you start to just talk about ideas about the world and how like for us, sometimes we talk about how to grow our businesses in this, in this economy or how to um, overcome whatever challenge him or I is currently facing and his challenges are different than mine and mine are different than his. Therefore, we can share ideas. I encourage you guys to find like-minded people even if you just find people who want to be successful. You want to be good in fitness? Surround yourself with people who are doing good in fitness. You want that good body? Surround yourself by people that are going to drive you to get that good body. I, I also recently joined up with uh, Team Beachbody, which you can find uh, the link in the description if you want to check me out on there and stuff. Um, so fitness has kind of been a uh, focal point for me recently. But find these people. So anyways, <clears throat> what I'm about to show you, um, this guy is opening up a new business. He worked at uh, Whole Foods for nine years, 
saved up a few bucks, all right? Not much. Um, he's got a kid. He has... <laughs> that part's gonna get cut. Anyways. <laughs> so, he doesn't have all the technological know-how. He doesn't know, he doesn't have all the business know-how. It's his first attempt at business. And that's the action part. He's doing it. So, does he have a facility? No, he doesn't, but he's got a backyard, right? Okay, so he's got a backyard. Does he have a building back there or somewhere he could operate out of? No, but he's got a shed. It's late at night in the video I'm gonna show you, so it's a little dark, but you'll see. He's got a shed. Yeah, I'm gonna shut the door, hold on. This is great. All right, so this is my boy's shed, who's, uh, who's starting a new business right here. This is the shed, this is his backyard. Like, I know you can't see because this is probably like wildly dark, but um, it's like you would never know, right? Walking up to this shed that you can't even see how small it is, but it don't matter. So anyways, all right, I'm gonna fall. It's all wet. All right, so you get to the shed, you open it up. <laughs> Not exactly what you would expect for a shed. <laughs> this is bada fucking boom, great. Bada boom. Dude, this is so great. You did this in how long? Yeah, well, it took a little while because... Yep, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh. Dude, this is how businesses get started. Yo, give me a, a smile, bro. Dude, this is great. This is so great. I'm so proud of you, man. Yo, that's my... St I sold that to you. Yeah, yeah, I already have one of your towers operational, man. <laughs> That's so, dude, this looks like uh, if you want, uh, there's a bunch of prints. You can zoom into how quality's changing. Like yep. those little Marvins, then you see the one that's finally got a properly printed ring on it and, you know, making progress. These yep. are all little calibration test crap that we're doing right now. Two out of three are printing right now, doing calibration tests. Yep. Dude, that's so cool, man. I'm so excited for you. I really think that, uh, you know, you do this right. I mean, I'll help you get going. Um, but you do this right. I mean, you, you've, got, you've got a good future going here, bro. Future, uh, future millionaire start. right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good start, but yeah, we'll man. see about millions down the line, you know? That's cool, that's cool. This is where it starts. This is where it starts, I'm telling you. This guy showed up to my house during one of our conversations and stuff, and he bought a computer from me. Um, I fixed those on the side just to supplement income, but he bought a computer from me and told me this whole wild, right, idea. Nobody else has to believe your ideas but you, by the way. He told me this whole wild idea for what he wants to build. It's basically uh, like a 3D printing company. And where he is located, he pretty much has a cornered market, right? He can go around to, when he's you know printing metal or glass or plastic or all the other stuff that these 3D printers print, he can go around to all these places and say, hey, you need a gear for the car that you're working on, you know, some automotive place or whatever, I can print it out, here's my card, whatever. He took his shed and he outfitted it with like $15,000 worth of equipment, all right? Like maybe more. I don't even know. I don't even know what all this stuff costs, but I know it's very expensive. <laughs> um, it's a fucking shed. But see, that's where he's building his business from. Kind of like me, at one point, Trusted Relations was a folding table. And then it became a pull table. Trusted Relations is a company I used to own. Then it became a pull table. Then I moved it to my garage and, and did up my whole garage. Then I rented from a guy who owned a building. And then I took over the whole building. Right? It's steps. To be successful, you have to take this action. To be wildly successful, you have to take massive action. Because if you don't, you, you're just everybody else who's dreaming. Like what, what happens with a dream? You wake up and it's not real, right? Well, imagine if you could live that dream. So you go to sleep at night, you have this amazing dream, this wonderful life you want to live, and you wake up and, no, oh, my life is shit. Make your life your dream. So by taking action, he may screw up. Things may go bad. He may lose his entire investment. Anything can happen. All his shit may get stolen, right? That could happen. I mean, he's got surveillance up and stuff, but you really want to steal stuff, you can steal stuff. But see, if he screws up, what's the worst that's going to happen? He goes back to work. He goes back to work. Like, that's it. So 
anyways, he took action. He's putting this into play. He, he renovated this entire thing and stuff. And so check out this video. I think you'll really dig it. Um, guys, take action. All right. I'll see you next time. That, that printer right there is called the Wan Hao. Yep. So it's a Silver Extruder machine, so I can print out a print that will actually let me know if both of these extruders are actually level with each other. Yep, Otherwise, yep. I can use them individually, but if I try to use them together on a You've print, been teaching yourself this whole yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Awesome. He's, he's been all over yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Little by little, you know. Trying to figure teaching it out. Me, you know, I, he's he's better I mean, look, than this you'll be able to print out bolts and all types of shit. Adjust so your you'll give me a, a smile, bro. Ah.